everyone, I'm Jonathan Lynch. Glad you can make it to the Honest Pantry. Come one, come all. Vegetarians, this one's for you. One of my favorite things about food is getting people together to enjoy it. And for this recipe, there's no better way to do it than with a big bowl of hummus. You say chickpeas, I say garbanzo beans, but either way, the end result is delicious. Garbanzo beans, tahini paste and stone ground mustard, spinach and garlic, extra virgin olive and sesame seed oils, ground cumin and lemons, parsley for that fresh fresh pita bread son. Hummus is nothing more than flavored garbanzo beans and the nutritional side of me says well if I already am eating beans why not pack some more good stuff in there. We're boosting the nutritional value of this hummus with spinach and parsley. It'll also give it a really really vibrant green color. You start off with your chickpeas. Now, if you guys want to make your own chickpeas, that's fine, but you got to do it the night before. Chickpeas are hard as rock, so please don't put them in your teeth because then my dad will have to go and fix them. Yes, he's a dentist. Garlic. And let's start this off and give it a pulse. Next, we're going to add our flavoring agents. We're going to start off with some ground cumin, some sesame oil, tahini paste and mustard. Now, you're probably thinking mustard. Why mustard? Stone ground mustard will add additional pop because of the vinegar and some texture because it's a very coarse mustard. And if you're unsure with what tahini paste is, it's nothing more than sesame seeds that have been cooked and ground up into a paste. The juice of three lemons. Ooh, that was a juicy one. And make sure to save one of the ends of these lemons for garnishing purposes later on. Second pulse. This is the texture that we're looking for. Really coarse, and we're gonna smooth it out with a little bit of olive oil. If you're asking me, this is the perfect way to get your kids involved in the kitchen. Lots of colors, lots of noises. Psh, making this brings out the kid in me. So let's add our spinach. And a bunch of parsley. <laughs> get it? Bunch, because it's in a bunch. That's <laughs> a joke. Let's get it a little more liquefied by adding in some extra virgin olive oil. If you're looking for a great dip for entertaining lots of people, hummus is definitely the way to go. You can make it up to three days in advance and it will still hold its flavor. Let's season with a little bit of salt and cracked black pepper. I got that twist motion. It's all on the wrist. Some people like to eat hummus just as their meal. For me, it's more of an appetizer, but I'll tell you what, this is a great way to start off your meal. I'm gonna finish this hummus off with fresh cracked pepper and some lemon zest. Time to dive in. Mix it all up. Mm, mm, mm. Still tastes like hummus, but looks completely different. Your guests will never know that they're eating good. You can pair hummus with almost anything. Carrot sticks, celery sticks. I've chosen pita today because it's the classic touch. This is so good, I might name my kid hummus. For all you Incubus fans out there, this is Hummus Among Us. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And in the comments section below, tell me whether you call them garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I'm Jonathan Lynch, we'll see you next Monday. And remember, your kitchen is never complete without the honest pantry.